So why did we think of starting this center? The answer to this question uh, was a very, very sad but interesting story of this person who came to us from far away. And uh, I still remember the day when he came to my OPD and uh, sat in front of me. He was looking haggard, his uh, appearance was unkempt. Uh, he had not eaten anything for a long time. Uh, he was looking really miserable. And suddenly he brought out a bottle of insecticide from his bag and kept it in front of me. And he said, Doctor, I am suffering from trigeminal neuralgia, very severe trigeminal neuralgia. And if you are not able to cure me, I will drink this insecticide. Now, this whole scene unfolded in front of me in rather uh, cinematic fashion. But it was actually happening. When I was a student of neurosurgery, we were told that trigeminal neuralgia is known as suicide disease because the pain can be so severe that many people do think of committing suicide. But I never thought that in the present era, people could be thinking of committing suicide. And uh, of course, we uh, reassured him and we told him that we will do all that is possible uh, for us. Uh, he was operated in the next week. Uh, a microvascular decompression surgery was carried out on him and you can see him in the hospital ward uh, four to five days after his surgery. For the first time in 10 years, he was able to speak clearly. He was able to eat. Uh, he could use shaver uh, and he was a relieved man. He was extremely grateful and uh, before he went home, he requested all of us that there are so many patients suffering from trigeminal neuralgia and if this surgery has a potential to cure trigeminal neuralgia, you should do something more about it. And the whole episode of this patient coming to my OPD with an insecticide bottle up to his uh, cure from trigeminal neuralgia. It was very, very, uh, it made a very deep impact on us and we decided to start trigeminal neuralgia center and particularly focus on microvascular decompression surgery. In his interview before he went, which was in a colloquial language, he explained to us the agony of this pain. You can very clearly see the agony as he is speaking. Even when he remembers the agony, he is not able to control his tears. And he also told us that he had thought of finishing off his life. And this interview, as I said, made very deep impact on us. After him, there were many patients who actually confided in us that they had indeed thought of committing suicide due to the pain. And not only due to the pain, but in the modern era, patients are put on medicine. The dose of medicine goes on increasing. Uh, on one side, there is pain. On the other side, uh, there, there are side effects of medicine. So the person loses completely many a times, of course, this happens, not always, he, complete, he or she completely loses uh, interest in life and uh, contemplates suicide. So, side effect of medicines has added to the agony of pain. I always tell the story of, uh, story of a sheep, which is told in many cultures that uh, a tiger who was actually caged was kept next to a sheep which was outside and the sheep was uh, fed daily. But after some days, the sheep died just by sheer terror. And this is exactly what happens in case of trigeminal neuralgia pain. They are in the dread of the pain, severe pain attack. And continuously in their subconscious, this theme is playing. And uh, it completely destroys their life. So, 
certainly something permanent needs to be done for them. Uh, some procedure which hits exactly at the cause of trigeminal neuralgia and not somewhere distally and which uh, gives them maximum chance of permanent cure. So, out of 943 patients that we have operated in the last uh, 14 years, actually 18 patients admitted that they had seriously contemplated suicide due to the pain and uh, severe drug related problems. This is a very uh, large number uh, in the modern era. So, with the help of Indo-German Neurosurgery Foundation which is called as Neurochirurgische Hilfe Indian and is located in southern Germany, we embarked upon this journey of treating tri trigeminal neuralgia. So, as I said basic cause of trigeminal neuralgia needs to be addressed. There are many causes of trigeminal neuralgia, but in majority of the patients it is the compression of blood vessels at the root entry zone that causes trigeminal neuralgia. And this is a very interesting cartoon that I came across in which there is a continuous hammering going on. Now, if you see the surgery microvascular decompression surgery done for trigeminal neuralgia, you will realize that compressing blood vessel is also continuously hammering on the nerve. And because of this continuous hammering nearly 72 to 80 times every minute, the nerve gets damaged, there is demyelination and the pain starts. So, if one really wants to offer cure in these patients, it is important to offer microvascular decompression surgery, surgery early in the course of the disease. So, in nutshell our experience, we have operated 953 patients with type 1 or type 1 converted to type 2 trigeminal neuralgia with microvascular decompression surgery. These patients were operated between 2004 and 2017 by retromasteroid approach and by single surgeon. Minimum follow up of 4 months and maximum of 12 years was available. 97 percent had excellent pain relief, 3 percent had recurrence severe enough to warrant resurgery or radiofrequency lesioning. 18 percent of our patients had facial numbness which was mostly transient. Hearing deficits reported by the patients were seen in 2 percent, meningitis which was non-fatal was seen in 0.5 percent and overall mortality was 0.2 percent. We have experienced that our results have improved over the period of time and we attribute this entirely to focused efforts on the part of the surgical team, the entire surgical team, ICU team, anesthesia team uh, becoming more and more conversant with this surgery. This has certainly helped us to improve the results and reduce the number of complications. When these patients are discharged, the most disturbing question asked by the patients is doctor, why were we not informed about this that is MVD procedure before? We would not have lost these last few years of our life due to this horrible pain. Had we come to know about this earlier? So, our mission since 2004 to 2006 somewhere in that time it started, but actually officially in 2006 the center of excellence for trigeminal neuralgia treatment was uh, developed where we perform uh, surgeries, we do counseling, we are uh, carrying out awareness about this disease in the society, India and abroad as well and our aim is of course making patients pain free and not only pain free, but also drug free. This center has got the following helpline numbers. So, any sufferer could contact on any of this number, especially severe sufferers who are contemplating to end their lives. I urge them to first contact these helpline numbers before taking any drastic step. So, these are the numbers or you can write a mail on brain and spine surgery 60 
at gmail.com. Thank you very much.